Hello, my Pisces, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am Debbie, and we are reading for March 24th, 25th, and 26th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And yes, I am Debbie. Now, I have done an overview where I talk about Mars going into Cancer. I do a reading, what's going on in the world. And I also remind you that these are general readings that may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? Okay. So let's see. What does this all mean for my Pisces? Except let's put the cards over there. Or, okay. So what's going on for my Pisces? Let's see. Let's see. I mean, your Saturn and um, Neptune, very good energy still for you. Kind of getting you a little bit more prepared for that future. Um, kind of getting your goals, having your goals clarify a little bit more. But we've had other energies that are just kind of changing and rocking things up. That Mars in Cancer may make you a little bit more emotional and push for more things, uh, more changes. I think that you might, you know, my, my Pisces, we've transitioned from your energies, which you've carried so much. You've carried so many, um, so much of the world's energies on your shoulders and now we're transitioning into the new season or the new year and everything is about to change and are you able to are you able to give that up my pisces hmm it's very hard when you've been the one responsible to share responsibility no so let's see holy spirit what do you want to say to our Pisces, my Pisces, our Pisces, what do you want to say? What would you like to share? Yeah, I kind of give this, um, you've been responsible so much, not just because of the year in itself, but all the, uh, all the things, I, I feel like it's, you're, you're starting to, instead of concentrating, or instead of everything being focused on the bigger I feel like you need to concentrate or focus more on your wants, your needs, your future, your goals. Okay? It's not going to be comfortable for you because you're used to taking care of so many others. Okay, first card is reverse, so strong stuff. Let's see what we've got. We have that unity card. We have that higher, um, that hierophant card. We have the five, um, which is about change. It is positive, negative. We're never quite sure. We have Archangel Sandalfin. This is a major arcana and Archangel energy card. This is, like I said, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is coming to face that, those rules and regulations, those the rigidity of whatever is going on in that world. Okay, It can be government. It can be religious. It's more the business of you know, taking care of business, but what are, what is the business? What's the business all about? Is the business about business or is the business about taking care of the people? So there could be a little bit of conflict, especially where I was talking about you've been taking care of so many, so much of the bigger energies, and now it's time for you to take care a little bit more of yourself. It could be definitely that. Um, I'm never a real big fan of the Hierophant, but the unity card or the wisdom card that comes up in the other decks, they soften the energies. They're not so harsh. They're not such a slap in the t you know slap in your face whether or not you know if you get it right or you know it, it kind of, there's some grace that is part of this. Sandalfin is believed to be Elijah from the Old um, Testament. Um, interesting with Elijah too. Not sure why, but yeah. Um, Elijah was very fearful. Even though he was a prophet of God, he was very, very fearful of the bigger picture. So unity, not quite sure where we're going with all of this, except that I do see a change from my Pisces. I see a change where instead of looking after so many of the others, you're going to start concentrating more and more on your own goals and your own needs, Okay. Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Okay, let's see what we got here. The five of earth. So now we have that five again. So change, change, change. We have that earth energy. That is our Capricorn, our Taurus. It's also our Virgo. Capricorn, you know, Capricorn just transitioned for a little bit um, Pluto. 
but we have some good energy in Taurus and Virgo was that full moon. It is your money, your job, your career. Again, the five. So it's kind of like whatever is changing and maybe there's a reason that instead of focusing on so many that you're bringing it back down to here. The five of earth, the five of pentacles has a generally has a worry about money. What are we going to do about money? How are we going to pay the bills? How are we going to do this or that or this or that? So that might be why you're going to be concentrating more on your own needs. The thing about the five of earth is that it is not an impossible card, though. It is saying, yes, there can be a fear. Yes, it could be very um, reasonable. And yes, it could be, you know, maybe, maybe the situation is a little worrisome, but you're not alone in this and you don't have to carry the burden all by yourself. So that, and that's different. Instead of Pisces carrying everyone's burdens, this is Pisces sharing some of their own burdens, some of their own thoughts, their fears, okay? So there's a shift. There's a major shift going on for my Pisces. And again, instead of it being bigger, it's coming down more to my Pisces taking care of their own business, okay? Fears surrounding money. The wisdom to accept help from others. Uncertain self-employment. Okay, so here we go here. The nine of earth. So we have this lovely nine of earth. So nine is, let's wrap it up. You've got everything you need. Don't worry about anything. This is earth again energy. So you've got this, you've got this whole shift in, in um, your paradigm. And like I said, my Pisces, instead of you worrying about all of that, you and, and taking care of all of those others, your shift comes down to taking care of, care of more of your own needs, taking care of your own wants. You're like refocusing your, you're refocusing your telescope, okay? And you're looking more at what, what do I need to do? It kind of goes along with when I, you know, when I give you my airplane scenario, and you know this, you know, um, when you get on a plane and the flight attendants say, in the event of an emergency and that oxygen mask should drop down, please put it on yourself first so that you can then help others. And this is what this is about. So there's something going on here. It's a shift in your paradigm. The, there's a new there you are refocusing on your own needs so that you can then and when you do that you're going to find that you're not going to be spread so thinly you'll be able to help others okay the nine of earth has a lovely energy a lovely message to it enjoying life's little luxuries spending quiet time alone successful self-employment but it's because you're changing, you're changing your priorities, you're changing your focus. And because you focus more on what you need to do, you have more to give and help the others. Okay, so it's really interesting. And I got, yeah, that, that was pretty interesting there too. Now let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what else do you have for our Pisces? What else would you like to say? So there's this is, and this isn't just this weekend. This is the beginning of this shift, okay? Well, I'll make sure I say it. My mouth is a little dry, so <laughs> let's make sure I enunciate my words. Here we go. <laughs> okay, that one. Are you popping? No, maybe. Yes, we're going to, we're also going to cut. We're going to take two cards. Because that one was kind of like, eh, maybe. Here we go. Well, that, maybe that one was more for me. That is the throat chakra. So we have the five, but I think it's for you. We have another five. So all the five energies are out there. This is your chakra system where earth, I'm sorry, where your soul, spirit, and physicality come together. There's basically seven main ones that people talk about, but there's a lot more. This is one of the metaphysical ones. This is speaking your truth. This is saying what needs to be said. Um, if the chakra is open too much, you can become loud and obnoxious. If it's closed too much, you can become very withdrawn and not heard. Having it nicely balanced, you are heard. So there is something going on. You, your voice is going to be heard because you're taking care of you. Again, I keep getting that. Okay, you will be heard because of these changes. 
This one's the one I drew. Now we have a four, um, a four, and this would be your fire energy, which would be your Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined, four is stability, organization, leadership. This is, okay, it talks about foundation and achievements. This is coming to an end of a cycle and celebrating that cycle. So this is the four of wands. This is where you've gone through school or training, you graduate. The graduation is the celebration. You've been engaged, you get married. The wedding is the celebration. You, you know, you've been expecting a child, you give birth. The birth is the celebration. So it's a time, it's a completion energy, and with that completion energy, you start out on a new path. Okay? Okay, so let's go on. And I feel like this is start, like I said, I don't just feel like this is for this little time. This could be because of Saturn. Um, I feel like this is your... It's, it's a step in your new direction. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Angels of Abundance, what do you have? What do you want to say to our Pisces? Block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are, and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Well, that kind of goes along with that, doesn't it? Okay, let's see what we have here. What crystal or energy or my Pisces would be helpful. Like I said, this is your, this is your new direction. This is your new... Yeah, this is a step. This is a step in your new direction. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Blue Kyanite. Connecting with animals. Telepathic abilities. Well, here, finding your true path. Finding clarity. Yeah. Interesting. So, my Pisces, did that make sense to you? Was this message for you? Okay. I would appreciate it if you would, you know, if you would look, if you're looking for a way to support the channel, I would appreciate it if you would do the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. It really messes with the algorithms and helps support the channel. So thank you. If you're watching me on Rumble, then please Rumble me. As always, though, my Pisces, always know that you are loved, Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.